Hello everyone, welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie a check nymph. I already have one on my channel, but I thought it needed some freshing up. So this one is going to be in Lance Egan's GTI Caddis colors. I really thought this was a really nice color combo. So I'm just going to steal it right away. So what we got here is this borax of ice dub or SLF prism in this case in the color peacock. The body is gonna be some light olive hairline dubbing and the back is this really nice brown. This one is a scud back in the color summer duck. Before starting tying I will also go through the materials once again in a little more detail but if you miss one of them just go in the description below and I will have a complete list with all the materials that you need to tie this fly. The hook I'm using is the Partridge. This one is the Jack Nymph size 10. Quite a heavy wire, nice round band. The rib I'm using some 5x nylon tippet and then as the second rib I'm gonna use some crystal flash. This one is then deviating a little bit from Lance's fly. And I'm gonna use some crystal flash in the color pearl. Just gonna give this a little nice highlight and segment the body. And for the back, I was mentioned before, it's this scut back one eighth of an inch and in the color summer duck. For the body, I'm using some dubbing. This one is the hairline dubbing in light olive. And then for the thorax, I'm gonna go with some SLF prism, but you could also go with some ice dub. This one is in the color peacock. Now that we have all the materials gathered, I'm gonna start tying the fly. For this, I'm taking off a piece of the lead free wire. And this, as I said, is gonna be to build up the shape of the body and also to add some weight. So I'm gonna tie this in or wind this around the hook about seven times or so for this size 10. And I'm gonna make sure just break the two ends off close and I want this to be centered over the point of the hook then some super glue right over top and if you're gonna tie a few of these at the same time I would suggest you do this step before doing all the rest you're gonna save some time so here I have quite a few already done so I'm just gonna liking every good cooking show, just take a new one and let the other one dry for now. The thread I'm using is the Semperfly Nano Silk 18 Oat in Beige. I'm gonna start right behind the eye, going back and then tie the tag end up over the wire and make sure that you get some turns over the wire as well to make sure that this isn't gonna go anywhere. And now for the first material, I like to tie my last rib in first before I'm tying the scud back. This is just preference, but if you would like to start with the scud back, this also works. So I'm gonna tie this right up to the wire on my side. And then I'm gonna let this with the thread torque move over to the other side. I'm gonna take this down quite a bit down the band and then I'm gonna go up again right back to the wire. I've already cut off a piece of the scud back and to make this a little bit easier to tie in I'm just gonna cut this into a point and make sure to catch this little point and try to tie this in right on top and here to help you you can just pull this quite strongly to get this to slim down and to get this where you want it. Then I'm gonna go back up again and also every time we go back and forth we're gonna build up the shape that we want so we don't get this bump here from the back up to the wire. And then the second or the first rib is gonna go in. This one is the crystal flash in pearl. 
So just tie this in on your side as well, right down to where we tied in the other materials. Now take some of the light olive hair dubbing and I'm just gonna pull this apart a few times, make sure that it's nice and ready to tie in. Build up a quite long and slim dubbing needle onto your thread. You want this fly to stay as sparse or as slim as possible to get down as fast as possible. The less material you have on your flies is gonna make them sink faster. Then build up the shape of the body. Make sure that you get this nice taper also. The wire is gonna help you with that. I'm gonna build a little ramp the thorax dubbing so it's not gonna fall off this way we get a really smooth transition from the wire down to the eye and down to the hook again then I'm taking some of the SLF prism and here you really don't need much we're gonna dub this on we want this to be a little bit thicker or a little bit spikier than the dubbing we had on the body. So a little short dubbing noodle this time. We're gonna build this up to taper from the wire down to the eye. So we want this to get slimmer and slimmer or thinner. There we go. Now time for the first rib which is the crystal. And this I'm gonna tie, or I'm gonna wind this counterclockwise up the body and open spiral turns and also right over the thorax, right down to the eye. And once you reach the thread, cross it, one turn in front, cross it and repeat this three times. Once this is secure, you can cut the excess off. Now we're gonna take our scud back and this we want to be dead center. So just pull this over, give it a little tug to stretch it just a little bit. And tie it down. I like to use my fingernail just to hold this in place. Make sure that the setting where you want it, make a few more turns, a few in front to make sure that this isn't gonna slip away. And now a little trick if you want your scat bag to be right in the middle, you want to have this a little bit to one side or to your side before you start wrapping the rib. This way when you do the ribbing it's gonna push the scat bag just a little bit to the other side and it's gonna be right in the middle and this I'm doing the normal way or not counterclockwise open spiral turns make sure to give this quite some force when you rip this through to get these nice segmentations in the skin or in the scalp back right up to the eye and here put a 90 degree band into thread or the nylon tippet and then tie this off and the nano silk and the monofilament are really slippery materials so you want to give this quite a few turns before cutting this away. It's happened too many times that you finish the fly and then once you get to brush it out or Anything, it's just going away. Cut off the nylon and then I'm gonna cut away the scud back as well. And here, if you pull this quite hard, you can cut this away really flush and then build up a nice little head with your thread. Last thing to do is to whip finish. So a 3, 4, 
Turn on whip finish, pull tight, get away your thread. Not to be 100% sure, I'm just gonna put a little drop of super glue right onto the head as well. As the last step, we can also tease out a few of these dubbing fibers either with a dubbing needle or you can just take your dubbing brush but I like these to stay quite slim like this so there we have this classic check knife I know I promised a streamer as the next video but I just haven't got any time to do this video so it's gonna be in two weeks next week I'm going on vacation so it's not gonna be any pictures on Instagram or any videos for the next week but then I'll be back again so see you then thank you all for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already see you next time and happy time